Hello and welcome. Today we are going to be talking about villager trading halls, particularly this one right behind me. This is a desert based one. As a lot of you know, Mojang decided that uh, it would be fun to mess with villager trading mechanics. And now we have to have villager trading halls in seven different biomes. So if we want to get all of the different types of trades, Recently, I put out a video that had just some inspirational designs. They, they were not tutorials. They were just basically like this is behind me. Here it is. Here's what it looks like. Have fun with it. But I had a lot of people ask, can you show me how to build it? How did you do this? Can you put up a tutorial with that? So I'm going to try to put together a quick tutorial on each one of them. That's right. Seven new videos. So the one we're doing today is the desert biome. It is sand, sandstone, red sandstone, clay pots, cactus, and then some acacia just because it matches the red sandstone. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is build one section. This is one section where I'm at right here. There's a villager on each side. We're going to build one section. That way you can expand it however you would like, however long you would like. And then we're going to come back and then we're going to add on the front facade. So it's hard to put together an actual materials list, but these are the materials that you will need. Um, the amounts are going to vary depending on how your uh, how big your design is, because it is expandable. It's modular. Um, but this is basically what you're going to have. You're going to have sand for the ground and a sandstone, smooth sandstone, smooth sandstone stairs, smooth sandstone slabs, cut sandstone and chiseled sandstone. And then you're going to have the red variants, smooth red sandstone smooth red sandstone slabs and chiseled red sandstone. It is a lot harder to say sandstone 16 times than I thought it would be. But you will also need acacia doors, one for each end, acacia trap doors. You'll need quite a few of these. Then you're going to need whatever profession blocks you'll like, some decorated pots, flower pots, cactus, dead bushes, Lanterns, candles, you can use any color candle. I like this one because it mimics the color of the sand, but you could easily use the red ones or brown ones. And then a flint and steel to light your candles. So let's start with the floor. The floor is just made up of smooth sandstone and red sandstone. We're going to come out here a little ways. We're going to put a smooth sandstone and then surround it with red sandstone, and then one more time with smooth sandstone. That's not supposed to go there. And then a line of red sandstone right here. And a line right here. So it'll look just like this. This is gonna be the floor for one section. If you want to expand it, you'll just repeat that same pattern. That line is this line. So you would just put your square over here. just like so, and then put another line of red sandstone right here. And that's how you would expand it. So we're just going to be focusing on building from here to here and the front, and then you can expand it as long as you would like. So the next thing we're going to do is right down this side right here. One, two, three. Leave that one. One, two, three. This one right here, you can put uh, sandstone in the bottom. That gap right there is exactly where your villager is going to stand. So you can make it sandstone. You can make it red sandstone. You can leave it dirt. You can leave it sand. It doesn't matter because you're really not going to be able to see it very well. And then the same thing on the other side. So it'll look like that. So next... Where your villager is standing, we're going to put a chiseled sandstone and then an upside down stair. Oops. 
upside down stair on each side and then repeat that on the other side as well. Now on top of this right here, so where the red sandstone is, you're going to put a cut sandstone on each side and then you're going to put your acacia trap doors. And for this one, you're going to have to put a temporary block to put your acacia door and flip it up and then break it. Same thing on this side. Temporary block, put your acacia trap door and break it. Because you can, you could put it here, or you could put it this way if you wanted to. But I like the way it looks when they're all even like this. And then again, same thing on the other side. One here, one here. Temporary block for your acacia trap door. And then a temporary block for your acacia trap door. So you can see it's really started to come together now. So on this one, I actually have two different sides. This one here is a little bit more squared off, a little more simple. And on this side, we have a little bit more of a cut design into it. You can do either one. They're both pretty straightforward. So we're going to do one of each. So for the squared off design, it's really easy. You're just going to put one of these down, come straight across, chiseled red sandstone, and then come straight across. If you want something that has a little bit more design to it, you're going to do full block, stair, full block, chiseled red sandstone, full block, stair, and full block. So it'll look like so. Again, you can see this one just has the two stairs in it versus this one just being straight across. Either way, up to you. So the next thing we're gonna build is this little archway right here that comes across made out of the red sandstone. And it just basically goes up by a half a step all the way up and then back down. So the way I like to do this, I like to build them, build both sides at the same time. So red sandstone slab, and then we're gonna have a full block, and then two slabs, and then a full block in the middle. So it'll look just like this. And that's that arch that's right there in the middle. So again, you've got your chiseled, your chiseled block with a slab on top, then a full one next to that. Then you have two slabs, a top slab and a bottom slab. And then you have another full block. Now for the roof, we have mostly, most of it is stairs just turned and configured so that way you have these corners going the right direction and inside corners here. So let's start with one row at a time. So to get this started, the best way I would say would be to put a temporary block right here. Put a sandstone stair facing down and then come to the side on each one so that way it makes that turn. Just like that. Then come over to the other side, stair, turn, corner stair, corner stair. Now you can get rid of that temporary block. Now you can put a slab here on each side of these stairs. And now you've got the middle section done. Now we're going to go one more section over on each side. Again, these are got a full block and then you have your stairs and your stairs turned again. So once you have that done, I'm right here and you're going to make a stair facing this way and then a stair facing this way and then put your solid block in the middle and now this is the part that might be a little bit fiddly you want to aim stand here aim that way and put your stair there so it'll make this if you don't do it right it's going to connect to this one instead and do that so you come this way 
face it that way and aim there, it should connect properly so that way it makes that shape. Like I said, it's a little bit tricky. You might have to play with it a little bit. So again, this is a slab, stair, 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 slab. Then this one is a stair, stair, full block, stair, stair. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So we're again, we're gonna put, come to the side, put a stair facing that way, and a stair facing that way. And then your solid block right here in the middle, and then come to the side that has the red, stand on the red and aim to the corner of that block, that solid block, and it should connect the correct way. And so far it should look something like so. So that should be the only tricky part right there. The next step you're gonna do is right here, aim at the bottom of that block, put a stair facing this way, and a stair facing this way. And then the same thing on this side. And then your trap doors are just gonna go right along here and those are your skylights. So this slice right here is the same as this slice right here. So if you wanted to repeat the whole thing, you would just repeat the whole thing right here. Same exact way. So the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna add this facade on this one. Again, there's some little finicky parts here with the uh, making the little windows, but I'll show you a really easy way to do them. So now you're gonna come over here, right here in the middle. This is going to be where your doorway is. So put a sandstone right there and we'll put the doorway in a minute because it'll be in the way. Then over here, you're gonna go one, two, leave that one. One, two, and leave that one. Those are gonna be where your windows are. And then here, you're just gonna come up one, two, one, two, and now we are going to make the windows. You're gonna stand on this side, facing there. Sorry, you're gonna stand on this side, facing there, and go up one, two, three. See, they're just stairs stacked up on top of each other. Again, you're gonna stand right here. One, two, three. Then right here across the top is going to be a slab. See, now you can kind of see where those windows are coming from. Now up here on top, you're going to just mirror this side over on this side. So again, this is where we had some little bit of the finicky issues. So you want to put solid block, stair, stair, and then come here, and you're gonna put your stair facing this way and that way, and there you have the facade part. So you would just mirror this on the other end if you wanted it to be open on the other end the same way. Come to the inside, put your door in. So that way when it's closed, you see this sandstone part. If you wanted to, you could put it here, but now it's gonna be rather flat. So that's why I like to put the door from the inside. All right, so I went ahead, added another section and put the other end on it. So that way you can see, oh, I forgot the door. But you can kind of see what it would look like looking from both sides. So this is the more flat side. And then on the other side over here, this is the one that has a little bit more indentation. Like I said, it's a very tiny detail. It's just replacing this one with a solid block or a stair. I like it with the stair but um, some people said they liked it more with a solid block. So they're both there. So looking at the outside decoration, I just replaced some of the grass with sand just so you can get an idea of what's around it. And then I just planted some cactuses, some two high, some three high, uh, a couple of dead bushes around. Now note, you can't plant a cactus right next to a, a wall. It's gotta have one space of non-solid blocks all the way around it. You can, however, Plant it next to a bush because it is not a solid block. Uh, on the corners, I put the decorated pots. You can use whatever design you want. These are just plain because, well, I was lazy. And then across the bottom edge of this, I put a row of these. The, the reason it's on the bottom, so if I put it, let's say I put it here. 
I can't hang a lantern from it. But if I put them here, now I can hang a lantern from the bottom. You can put one there or you could put one on each side, however you want to do it. If we come inside, I put one lantern right here in the middle. Some candles on each side. This is where your profession block goes because it'll hold your villager in there. And then in the corners and at each section, I put a decorated pot. On top of the decorated pot, and this is a really nifty trick, you can put a flower pot and then you can put whatever you want in there. I put a cactus in, but you could put uh, a flower pot with a dead bush. You could put a flower pot with whatever flower you wanted to in there. I just like the look of the cactus. And that is it. That is your village trading hall in a nutshell. This one's two sections long. The one over there, the original is five sections long. You could make it as long or as short as you wanted to. And then you just have to put your villagers in it. That's the part that I really, really despise doing. Now you have your entire desert village trading hall set up. So you can put your desert villagers in here, or you can build this in the, in the desert and have your villagers already ready to go. Until next time, I hope you have a great day and check out the other videos that are coming out in this series. Be sure to like and subscribe so that way you don't miss them when they come out. You can be the first one to comment because we all know that everybody has to be first in the comments. Until next time, take care, have a good one, and bye bye